Hey there friends and welcome to Laugh Napkin. My name is Frank and today we're going to be looking at some new r slash entitled parent stories. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. A couple of months ago my husband and I moved states and I started a new job at a physical therapy center in our new city. Since starting there, everything has been going well, until Thursday. A woman who's been going to the center for a few weeks after a serious surgery usually came by herself. Thursday, however, she bought her husband and four-year-old son. Apparently, the husband normally works during the week and the boy goes to daycare. But today, the husband had the day off and decided he wanted to see what his wife was doing every week. It's not unusual for a family to come in every now and then to watch their loved one's progress. I wasn't an active participant in this as I was with a patient, but the space was open and I could see and hear everything. The second this family walks in, or in the wife's case, wheels in, the kids start shouting, ball, 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 and all but sprints over to the large exercise balls. He tries to pick one up, but it's too heavy. So he just starts pushing them into each other and making them roll all over the room. Not good. Strike one. While the receptionist lady was checking the woman in, she asked the husband to get their son as he was making a mess. To this, the husband replied, He's fine. He's not hurting anyone. The wife told him not to argue and get the kid. He huffed, but dragged the little boy away from the balls. At this, he started having a tantrum. Strike number two. The wife sighed, but greeted her trainer and was ready to get to her routine. The husband was asked to stay in the waiting area with the kid, but could still see everything just fine. However, he didn't like being told what to do, insisting that, I should be able to be with my wife. We came here to support her after all. This didn't sit well with the reception lady, and she insisted it was for safety, but the husband didn't care. During all of this, the man is holding on to the boy, who was still crying and trying to break free of his father. Oh, come on. He's bored. Just let the kid play. He won't bother anyone. Nope. Not gonna happen. The receptionist makes it very clear that if the man lets his child into the work area, he'll be asked to wait outside. The wife could hear her and shouted at her husband to stop being lazy. That was pretty funny. The man, now embarrassed, just sits down and keeps the kid in his lap, or tries to. The kid breaks free and starts trying to climb on the nearest machine. One of the guys that had just finished up with a patient saw this and rushed over to grab the kid. The husband didn't like that and told him, don't touch my son, he's just playing. And with that, we have strike three. The reception lady stands up for her desk and gets right in this man's face. She informs him that he will now have to take his son and wait outside the center for the rest of his wife's appointment. Also, that he was no longer allowed to come to the center unless they had a sitter. The wife was done with her husband and told him to just go home and she'd call him when she was finished. The husband tried to protest, but his wife shut him down with, I told you this was a bad idea. Now stop being stupid and do what you're told. With that, the man grabbed the kid and left. Boy was that satisfying to watch. At the end of her session, the woman apologized for her husband and son. She said the husband refused to bring anything to entertain their kid because he figured we'd have a play area, even though the mom told him we didn't. The entire thing lasted maybe 15 minutes, which I think is some kind of record. She also promised she wouldn't bring her family again. All in all, not terrible, but very annoying. Don't you just love that excuse? He's a kid. He won't mess anything up. Just let him run around. Yeah, sure, buddy. Let's just stop teaching our kids how to behave in public and let them be kids. Come on, dude. You're raising the kind of kid that makes us millennials not want children. I was traveling on a train yesterday afternoon back from seeing some friends. I was basically traveling the entire length of the route with a journey around 9 hours going over 450 miles north, so a long time. I had a reserved seat for the whole journey, with the seat next to me switching from being reserved for some of the journey for like an hour or two, then being vacant. At around hour 6 of my journey, the train was becoming very busy with families going home from day trips out. The next stop, I saw the person sitting next to me depart, 
and a woman who was looking and acting as if the group of scraggy students like me and families with little ones were far beneath her, got on with a woman who looked my age, who were both looking around for a seat. The older woman, entitled Mom, saw the space next to me and made a beeline for it, with the other woman, entitled Kid, in tow. This is the conversation that followed. Entitled Mom, Hi, I think you're in my daughter's seat. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure this is the seat I reserved. Doesn't it say so on the display? The train I was on had an automatic display saying whether or not the seat was reserved. My seat said it was reserved from my departure station to my arrival, while the seat next to me said it next became reserved at a station about an hour away. Entitled Mom No, the screen's gone off. These are the seats for me and Entitled Kid. Now move. At this, I got out of my seat to look at the screen, which said it was still reserved, and I quickly sat back down. Me. Nope, it still says it's my seat. The seat next to me seems free for a while if one of you wants to sit down. Entitled Kid Why can't you just move? We're probably traveling further than you anyway. Sorry, but I'm really not going to move. Entitled Mom raising her voice to attract the attention of others. I can't believe you won't have the dignity to let me sit next to my child. She can't just go and sit on her own. Me to Entitled Kid How old are you? Entitled Kid, 23, so probably older than you, so you really should do what I say. I'm 21, and look it. Me, seriously? I won't move from my seat. Your child is 23, and doesn't need to sit with you. I was feeling petty, so rose my voice to mimic Entitled Mom when saying this. Entitled Mom, that's it. We're getting the staff. I will not be spoken to like this by a child. With that, they both left the carriage. I didn't hear anything from any member of staff or anyone else. Though, a lovely little old lady who was sitting across from me said that she would probably have sworn like a sailor at Entitled Mom and Entitled Kid if they'd spoken to her like that when they'd gone out of earshot. The icing on the cake was when the train stopped about a half an hour later, so two stops after Entitled Mom and Entitled Kid got on, I saw them both getting off and walking up the platform. It took everything in me not to give them a little wave as they skulked past. Oh no, 23 and you can't sit by yourself for a little bit? What kind of kids are these entitled parents raising? Just a quick backstory. I have something wrong with me. I never really got a name for it yet from my doctor, but basically my metabolism is super high. Plus, I was extremely underweight at the time and I pass out if I don't eat very often every one to two hours. Because of this, I talked to my band director about bringing snacks to tournaments. He normally doesn't allow this because he believes in supporting the schools hosting them, but I was allowed to take a couple. Keep in mind, I'm a senior now, but this story takes place my sophomore year, so I wasn't very confrontational. So our story begins where most high school stories begin. Not really, the bus. The particular tournament we were traveling to was about an hour away, so by the end of the ride, I could eat my snack, to which many kids halfway complained that I could eat, but it was mostly just jokes. We change, get off the bus, and I gather with the guard, my section, all while eating my trail mix. I didn't expect the band director to tell the parents about my problem, so I wasn't surprised when I had a mom on me about it. Entitled Parents OP, you aren't supposed to be eating, especially in costume. Oh. I know ma'am, but Mr. Band Director gave me permission because of my health. Do you have a note on you? No, but you… then you can't eat that. She snatches the trail mix out of my hands and I'm a huge crybaby, so I tear up because I'm the goody two shoes kid who doesn't like to get into trouble, which is why I'm now captain, laugh my ass off, but I get over it since I have extra snacks anyway. However, I noticed something fishy about 20 minutes into our warm-up. See, Miss Entitled Parent here is a guard mom, and her kid happens to be my good friend. So after we finish stretching, we get a water break and Entitled Parent goes to talk to my friend. And I notice she gives her my trail mix. I'm mad, because I could at least understand her taking the food away, but giving it to her kid? That's hypocritical. 
Now my friend knows about my health issue and knows that I love that particular kind of trail mix. So the conversation goes as follows. Friend, OP, are these yours? Mom said she found it and figured she'd give it to me. Me, yeah, no, she took them away, but it's fine. I had extra friend. What? No, it's not fine. You could have got hurt. She had witnessed my first passing out where I had gotten a pretty bad bump on my head. Me, I mean, she was pretty rude. She took them right out of my hand before I could explain. Friend, don't worry about it. I'll tell her. Long story short, she tells her, Entitled Mom doesn't apologize and was still generally rude. And then second semester got mad at our instructor because he wanted to spend time with his boyfriend when he wasn't responsible for us. I still got my snacks though and I'm generally pretty healthy now. That year was crazy. I have another Entitled Grammar story from that year, but that's a story for another day. Unless y'all want it in the comments or something. So here's how I'm picturing the story. Entitled mom mentality. You need food or you'll pass out? And you're going to be captain in the future? Well, you can't be captain if you're passed out. So I'll be taking these snacks from you because my child deserves to be captain. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of today's stories. If you enjoyed this video and want to help support my channel, then hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Tell me about your day or something. Also, if you're new to my channel, then go ahead and subscribe for daily videos. See you guys tomorrow.